Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're gonna do today is change out our turn signal bulb, or running light bulb, depending on whichever one you wanna call it. Uh, and this is on a Harley Sportster. However, this is pretty much the same procedure for every single Harley out there, every single late mile Harley. In order to get this lens off of here, there's a wee little notch on the outer, on somewhere around the, the perimeter of where the plastic lens meets the body at. You might be able to grab this plastic lens and twist it. I happen to be able to twist this one. Uh, but if you look close here, there's a one little notch where you can get something like a flathead screwdriver in there. Let's move in for a closer look. You can see the little notch. Hopefully you can see it right there. Now we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver. We're gonna put it in the notch and we're going to twist it a little bit. Nice gentle twist. It should pop the cover right off, off of there. There may or may not be a little rubber gasket that comes off with the thing. If it does, keep track of it. Some of them just have a real tight fit and there's no gasket on there. If you do have the gasket, don't lose it. It's to help keep moisture out of there. Now, in order to pull the light bulb out of here, they don't just unscrew like a light bulb in your house. Actually, you want to push in a little bit and then quarter turn it to the left. So we're going to push in and then quarter. It's actually like an eighth of a turn. It's not even a quarter turn. To the left. And then we can take it right out of there. And all this little goo here is just light bulb grease or technically it's dielectric non-conductive grease. Keeps the moisture out of there. Keeps from corrosion from happening. But then you can take this light bulb to your auto parts store. Um, you don't have to go to the dealership. Any local auto parts store should carry these bulbs. If you look at the body of the bulb here, it should have a number, a four digit number, that says what light bulb it is. Okay, so this bulb made a liar out of me. The number is not written on this bulb. Sometimes it's stamped in the metal frame and it'll be like 1157, 1156, something like that. So you're gonna wanna get online and figure out which bulb is your replacement one. But once you can find out which replacement bulb it is, you can reinstall it. You can take a little dab of dielectric grease or light bulb grease, smear it up on here. Now you'll notice there's two pins on here on the end, then there's two pins on it, one pin on each side. You notice this one's a little bit higher than this one. That is what makes sure you put it in in the correct orientation. Otherwise, these two pins will line up wrong and your running lights and your turn signals will be backwards. So when you go slide it in, it's very difficult to see which pin is higher. So usually if you can see, hey, that's great. If not, I recommend just the trial and error technique. So twist it around until the little pins line up with something, push in and try to do the eighth turn to the right. In this case, it won't turn to the right. Therefore, our bulb's in the wrong position. So we're gonna turn it over 180 degrees, slide it in there, turn to the right, let it go, it stays right there. Now, we're gonna wipe all those greasy fingerprints off of here. Now this isn't like a halogen bulb, you can actually handle these with your hands. However, we're still just gonna wipe all the grease off that I left on there. And then from there, you can take your lens with your gasket if you have one, and you can just pop it back into place there. I like to turn it so that little notch is down at the bottom. Less chance of any moisture getting in there, or if there's moisture in there, hopefully it will drain out the bottom. But that's pretty much it. Now, turn your bike on, check all your lights, make sure they work, and you're ready to go ride. That's all I got.